Could you steal this sea pickle? I bet you can't. Today, we're gonna surround this sea pickle with a bunch of Minecraft traps, and then we're gonna invite 100 players to see if they can come and steal the pickle. All right, trap number one is the scaffolding tip here, guys. This is where the sea pickle is gonna be stored, and I'm gonna surround this with scaffolding. I guess this will be the last trap. We're doing this like in reverse order. The very last trap will be a whole bunch of scaffolding, and if a player hits it, we can make it so they fall off the world, and they just die. I do like a good little brutal murder. Placing scaffolding is like the most annoying thing ever. I like it, but I also hate it. So I think what we'll do is we'll put the sea pickle like that. We'll put the scaffolding right there. And then to make it a little bit easier on ourselves, what we're going to do is go ahead and put bet. Oh, no, we want all. Oh, I broke my sea pickle. There we go. That's what you got to do, folks. Just like that. Okay, so we got the scaffolding set up. We're going to put carpet on top of it now. The problem here is, is that I've got to kind of defend this from all sides because they could come in from any direction. And so this is more of a one-time use trap. Like once it goes down, they got to make a pretty difficult jump, but I think it's possible. Now we got to do is just wire up some redstone here to make this thing really simple. I say that like it's going to be easy. This is not. So we got scaffolding there. So I will put a grass block and then a pressure plate and that's it. And we'll do this on all three sides. And then each one of these will give them kind of an opportunity to break it if they were to step on this specific pressure plate. I mean, we can't make it impossible, guys. Like, this is so hard to place. I'm gonna be real with you. Come here, baby. Come here. What? There we go. Okay, now I think the better solution too is to go full on pressure plates all the way around the outside to make it a little bit more, just a little bit more friendly, I guess. Now, obviously, I have no idea which one actually does the damage and which one doesn't, but I think that's a good look. Coming in next is the zombie wall. Prepare two glass walls that are one block thick and one block off the ground. Create an opening and begin leading your zombies in. So an army full of zombies that we're going to surround this thing with. So what we could do is select like right here. We'll do here. And then we can set this. Oh, that's that, that definitely did not work. I'm scared. So we do walls with nether brick, and that creates a pair of walls around the outside, as you can see. What other mob could I use besides zombie? Witches, that's good. So we'll spread a couple witches around the... We'll spread a couple... What? We'll set a couple witches around the outside, just disperse them evenly. Just a nice little sprinkling of witch, if you will. Look at this, this is actually so messed up. An iron door here with no way out. So once you walk in, you're in. And then to get to the other side, you have to walk around to this side. And then the second door will be here, which leads you into the news. Well. Oh! No! 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 No, 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 no! Stop, stop, stop. I know it works, but I don't need you to trigger it, brother. That's okay, we'll just rebuild it. Just a little bit of rebuilding. At least we know it works. Problem is, the witches could step on pressure plates and get through, so I'm just gonna do a regular door here. I don't- I don't know if witches can open a door, to be honest with you. We'll find out, that's for sure. No! 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 No, you- you stay in here. Alright, what we're gonna do instead is actually a trap door. I know witches can't go through this and players can, so we'll do like a trap door. Now I know the witches can't get through. We're good to go. Prepare your regular house, but replace some of the floor with unlit campfires. Look how smart this is! It is a campfire turner honor. Oh, oh, it's fireball launcher. Hold on, do fireballs actually light up a campfire? This is a question we must answer right now because I'm- I'm really confused. We'll put down a campfire, we'll hit it with a splash water potion, and then a fireball. Whoa! <laughs> No way! I did not know that was a feature that you could do in this game. Okay, so now we could use campfires as like a secret defense out here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we'll replace our grass with nether uh, rat. That gives it a little bit more of a creepy feel, and I like the creepiness factor of it. Now to get the campfires working, I think the coolest way to do it would be like, we'll put dispensers down like this. I think we'll stick with pressure plates for now instead of the tripwire because of this design. So if I step on these... Those all launch up fireballs, which is exactly what we want. And then on top of them, we'll put down our campfires. But for our case, we're going to start them unlit so it doesn't give away what's going on. So it's going to look like... Oh, no, no, no. This one's got to be even. So let's give it a shot. Yo, what the heck? Does it not work? I got some questions here. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, that didn't even hit it. How do you make it hit one of these? Honestly, it's like impossible. Dude, I don't think these actually light them up. I don't think it actually does. Since that doesn't seem to work for us, what we could do instead is probably put like netherite slabs up like this. And then you would think when that explodes, that would probably do some damage to you. What? I accidentally had the fireball damage turned off, so it didn't work. Oh, there we go. Oh, that, that definitely works. Now let's try to get... Oh, it does. So it actually works through the carp. Oh. 
well, we're gonna not use carpet. We're gonna not do that, okay? I put them all around the outside. We make this like a little bit of a forced obstacle course where players have to run around it. Warped wart block. That is what you like to see. And it's got a little bit of grass on that side, not over there. So it's just a little bit uneven, but that's, oh, that's, well, that's not, that's not good. Nope. There it is. Okay, so this is a, st a strategy that kind of works against villagers. So you can use bamboo and sweet berries to defend people, basically using plants as a way to defend your base. What I'm gonna try to do is something weird with world edit. I'm gonna take this out and do a brush. That's not what I had in mind, but it created a wither rose brush. <laughs> this creates a hole of wither roses. Okay, I mean, it's, it's kind of weird. So we'll kind of surround this on the outside. I don't wanna get too out of control with it. Oh, I'm sorry, pig. And we'll do the same thing, but instead of a wither rose, we will do a sweet berry bush. Oh yeah, no, it's not too hard to avoid. So we'll have to make it a little bit more difficult, but I feel like maybe on the outside, it's a good strat. All right, I'm coming in. I'm trying to go boom, boom, 100 players. I'm racing in, I'm running for my life. What do I do? It's really very quite simple to get through. So we need to spice it up. Okay, what we'll do is we'll take kind of these berry bushes and wither roses and then just like place them around through the outside that way it's not such an easy walk That feels very secure to me. This is a honey block maze, which makes it really hard to get through because you can't really jump out of the honey block. So you got to pick the right path to survive. We are going to select this entire outside region. We're going to replace our glass blocks with honey blocks and magma blocks. Okay, tell me that does not. Oh, I missed a little bit over here. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. So now what makes it more difficult is you can go ahead and crouch to survive, right? You're not going to take damage. The honey is going to slow you down. You can't really jump off the honey to make it difficult. And then what we can do is take our honey and sometimes we'll make a little honey traps and they'll lead right into it so like if you fall in you basically have to take damage to get out you know what? we should make like a really big one like anyone who comes from this backside and gets caught here is just not gonna realize you know what we should do <laughs> we should do that so if they may get to the door and they fall in they're just done they can't get out there's nothing they can do we'll put a um hole down to their death so they'll realize like oh it's over i've lost this outside zone is really kind of chaotic to be honest with you i don't think it's too hard we do want to add something a little bit more extreme because none of these traps yet feel like they are going to destroy people as i'd like them to oh look at this okay so We've got a hidden trap door turret design. So we can take this up a notch though. There is only one way to make a turret and it looks like this. Now that right there is the ultimate turret in Minecraft. I don't care what you say. Hopefully I copied it right. I'll be able to paste a few of these around. Let me try it here. There we go. Look at that. Getting a little blaze action. We should put one like up here, like on the corner. That way you can see people throughout the entire event. Okay, it definitely pasted weird, but uh, you know what keeps the vibe? I'm happy with it. We'll put one on each corner like that, dude. Look at that thing. We don't need a noob turret. We need this turret. This is what's up. I mean, do you see the range these bad boys have? <laughs> This is like a military compound. Puffer fish borders. This is what I've done before in the past, but it didn't really work actually the last time I did it because all the puffer fish either despawned or died. This actually doesn't work as well as you would think. So I'm gonna try a new puffer fish design today and see if maybe this one's a little bit better. If you put a bucket with a bucket of puffer fish, does that squirt out the puffer fish? Oh, it does. Now does it suck it back up as well? Now tell me why that doesn't actually suck it up back up, but the pufferfish survives for a decent amount of time. So these will be one-time use traps that we can lay around our base here and kind of have little mini pufferfish killers. We gotta find like a great location for these. You know what I mean? Like these are like kind of a risky play. Okay, this is looking weird. I'm gonna be honest with you, but trust me on this, take a look. So we can do this, actually have it all face inward, which will definitely destroy some of the plants and maybe make things, I'm not sure really what's, I don't know what it's gonna do. Oh, no, 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 they're triggering it. No, stop it. God, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do because they're gonna start breaking everything i've got these already placed we're gonna have to like place these and then get like some kind of security wall to keep those creatures out we need emergency walls right now like emergency walls we have got to get these up there we go we, we got it got a perimeter to walk you're good to go you can walk through this should keep out the bad boys that we don't want to be dealing with right now okay i think we finally fixed it now we did lose an entire crop here but that's okay so we'll make a couple of entrance points just randomly throughout the side what would be even better i bet is if i put fireballs in there and people can launch fireballs at each other okay that is looking secure i think it might be just a little bit too easy right now the, the blazes are good i think maybe what we need is like another type of defense turret i'm gonna whip one up real quick all right let's go ahead and just take a skeleton turret no <laughs> i didn't mean to do that oh i don't even want to see the damage that's about to cause boy that that was painful now we should be able to place down a couple of skeleton turrets just like this and so these skeletons shouldn't ever die from the because they have like shadows and basically we can just surround the outside wall with them of like all different heights so we've got literal skeleton turrets on the side all of this stuff in the front just to slow you down hurt you damage you fireballs launching at you and the last few touches are just more of the intimidation factor which might just be just a little smidge of lava you can do something like this do walls lava and just make like little literal like just really weird lava rings because like why not like let's put one right there and it's okay if the lava seeps out and randomly hurts stuff because you know lava hurts that's gonna add a little challenge yeah 
Ah, there it is. Okay. How did that trigger? How is there is there something in here? Yeah, how? This thing hopped the whole wall, bro. Get in the lava, please. In the lava, boys. I can't be dealing with 400 of you. I'm gonna do just a little bit of this on the outside, just like added intimidation factor. We gotta make one ring. Get these slimes out. Oh, geez, that's like 400 slimes. I'm gonna do another a, a ring, guys, on the side here, just for a little bit of protection. I feel like the lava grief is good. I feel like we've got lava pillars. I feel like everything's ready to go. I'm going to invite 100 players now to try to race through this trapped building, or whatever you want to call this thing, and see who can get to the sea pickle. And the first player to get to the holy sea pickle is the winner of 4,000 lover bucks. In three, two, one, go. And they're off. 100 players are trying to race in right now. Here's some people going in, releasing the pufferfish traps. And it's not looking bad. Guys, this is, oh, we got a couple deaths right here, but it's not too bad at all. Again, we don't know how well, the, the, obviously the turrets are really sucking right now. It's not, it's not doing great. Oh, he fell in. My boy fell in. We got a leader right now coming in first place. We could have a winner. Blockbuster absolutely dominating the competition here today. Blockbuster doing great. Here we go. Moving into the next room here. He's he's doing great. Blockbuster with one right behind him. Reach right in front of him. Is he going to get him? Moving into the final section. What's he going to do? He's confused. We juked him. Oh, we got a player. I tiny comes in. I tiny's not even in it. Got to get to the sea pickle. Got to get to it. Got to get to it. Anyone to the sea pickle. Oh. Oh, you're going to have to boost each other. Someone has to sacrifice their life to get there. You have to boost. You made Oh, we got it. We got a winner. Ladies and gentlemen, Sila later Pog made it right before Connell. Click right here to watch me challenge people to get through pirate hacks. <laughs>